now we will see another example of uh, beam bearing for steel design so this example is a complete uh, design for a uh, bearing plate so what is bearing plate again bearing plate is the plate that is used in between load and the beam so here there is a plate here why we use the plate because the support reaction here is so so huge that uh, there might be some bearing failure so we use a bearing plate here now what are the shakes for um, bearing plate again so for bearing plate design we shake um, several five six one is a uh, one is yielding in the wave crippling in the wave bearing in the plate bending in the plate and the support bearing stage five another one is for flange flange side sway buckling so, so total six so okay what is given here given here the section w1850 10 inch concrete wall this is a concrete wall 10 inch is given here uh, what else beam is spent 20 feet uh, estma 36 is still for beam and bearing plate that means beam here and bearing plate both uses a36 a36 means yield stress is 36 ksm dead load 1.5 keep per feet live load 2 keep per feet uh, ultimate bearing ultimate compression strength of the concrete support is 4000 psi a prime c so this is given now what to do we have to check the way building here wave sorry here way building here wave crippling here and then bearing in the plate bending in the plate and the support uh, bearing capacity so all five six we will have to do it okay then you start um, before starting we should know the load because what is our design uh, procedure first we calculate our maximum load or maximum moment whatever we are designing for here we are designing for the load so we have to find the reaction then we should check if the uh, wave is good for yielding and crippling then we should uh, here my plate dimension we do not know so we have to assume a dimension and we have to check that then we will check the support capacity okay so first let us start the part first let us find the uh, load here what is the load here given dead load live load it is a uniformly distributed load so we can find the maximum reaction is the maximum shear force that is w u l by 2 and we need to factor the load we need to factor because nothing is told about factor so we are doing factoring here 1.2 d plus 1.6 l that is the load combination number two when there is only dead load and live load load combination number two uh, always wins so 1.2 dead load 1.6 live load total is 5 keep per feet and before that we listed some value that we got from asc manuals table um, chapter one table one dash one now then uh, whatever uh, that is my uniformly distributed load factor load then my reaction is w u l by 2 we know that for uniformly distributed load that is the equation or you can solve it using your own style whatever style you follow uh, this must be same so 50 keeps is our applied support reaction what the maximum share for same thing so that is the load now we will assume or we will uh, we will assume the plate uh, dimension and we'll check one by one so first what is what is this x is 5 okay x is less than 5 what is that that means whenever we we check for design yielding sorry uh, capacity for yieldings capacity for crippling uh, we or or even something else we need to know the load application point from the end of the beam so from the end of the beam what is the load application point it is half of n by 2 half of n by 2 so my x is here to there uh, now what is my d d is 18 d is 18 my load is somewhere here now what is this value roughly uh, here to here is 10 if i deduct few wins here nothing is told about this so we can deduct few wins uh, at the beginning say uh, we deduct four inch here and six inch length we can assume that whatever you assume is okay you will assume some then you will check so what is our x x if this is six then x will be three so that is some idea okay so we let's go back to that position so x is less than five inch half of the wall thickness it, it is true because yes x must be less than five 
and 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 so x is less than d and x is also less than d by 2 what why we are doing this we need to know when we will choose the equation for wave yielding and wave crippling just they did it in advance okay now assume they assumed n is 6 now you can assume n is 7 8 9 10 10 you cannot assume why because you can see there's a gap here so if if we assume n is 10 is there is no gap uh, the problem is not telling that problem is telling they leave some gap here so at the beginning we assume uh, 6 now uh, let me um, uh, let me tell you that 6 is a very practical value very common value most of the bearing plate is mostly 6 inch so they assume 6 inch is good now which equation to choose uh, obviously n is smaller than d that means the uh, first one most probably so which equation to choose is not so typical go to that section and there are two equation uh, that is the one equation based on this s is smaller than d very clear cut and k is known fy known dw known from the asc manual so we found the capacity of of the wave for yielding 107 what is our load 50 so it is good then we'll check for wave crippling what is the condition we should check d by 2 and n by d so depending on this two value we selected our equation and in that equation most parameters are known from the ASC, AISC manual again what AISC manual most parameters are known so we calculated that is 72 keeps capacity we are applying only 50 that means it is again good again um, I am not discussing a lot here because there is nothing to discuss just pick the equation and find the parameters from the AIC manual and then find the capacity. And hopefully you are matured enough at this stage to understand this. Okay, next is bearing plate. And oh, sorry, not, not this is not bearing plate. They wrote bearing plate, but actually they are doing the bearing stress in the uh, support. So they are checking the support here because my support must be good here. What is the support capacity? The equation is given here. Now, why this equation? There are two equations for support uh, capacity. If I go back uh, here, two equations. One is this, one is this. Now, when to use this one, when to use this one? If my plate leaves some gap all around the, so yes, if my plate leaves some gap all around the plate, so that means there's a gap here there's a gap here this side has gap this side has gap but this side gap is the smallest that is e so if there's a gap then we get another area a2 a2 is b plus 2e n plus 2e but in, for our case there is no gap why there is no gap let me go so yes no there's a gap here we can leave some gap if we want but it is up to you uh, you can start from the in to up to this or you can leave some gap here if you leave some gap say one is gap then you have to use the other equation which has a2 uh, but this case they just use the first equation they did not do the second second equation that means they assume that they will not leave any gap so yes to make your life simple you can assume that you are not leaving any gap but again leaving gap is good because uh, your load will be distributed to a larger area so they are they used uh, equation number one which is good you can use equation number two that means some gap that is also okay uh, okay so how to do that gap so our applied load is 50 is transaction factor is known 85 known a prime c 4000 use here everything is here here in keep ksi keep this so for here not 4000 so and now what is my a1 a1 is b n b n so n is known then they found b is 3.7 inch but it's better to make the width same width of the beam that means plate width beam width same it, it looks better so they are using actually my bf is 7.49 they are using 8 to make a round number yes we can use 4 we can use 5 6 everything is good but they are using round number to make my plate width and beam width same which is good okay let me draw, draw this here say this is the top view of the beam so if my plate is this it 
it looks better compared to if, if a plate is only sorry yes yeah, similar to this there's some gap here some gap, gap here it is also okay there's no problem in that but if you if you provide the full width uh, plate that will be more like better more stable uh, less chance and this is a very small size so um, cost is not a problem for, for this always uh, try to check a larger plate that will be safer in all around so here what we do we check the support reaction so we we determine the plate size considering the support uh, capacity or support bearing stress then we will do the plate bearing or plate bending so both i told you that one equation this equation from your book this takes care of both plate bearing and plate uh, bending both so what is r u r u is my support reaction what is my l lever arm of the b uh, of the uh, plate how to find it b minus 2 k 1 by 2 and we discuss how it comes it's just a lever arm for the moment so we found this value inserted it here after this we found 0.81 inch is our required plate thickness now this is not a round number even this size you cannot find it in the market so better to use a um, practical value so practical value how much they got uh, they, as, they took they took one inch because uh, 0.75 inch after that is uh, one inch and we should round it to nearest uh, not nearest higher quarter inch so higher quarter inch ob obviously one inch so then one is so how we found the plate again summary six we assumed and we checked it that it is good and eight we did we, we set for the support crashing and then we considered this number based on support crashing support crashing was demanding three point some inch we made it larger to make it a practical value and then one is we found considering plate uh, bending and plate uh, bearing both yes okay so uh, this example is a complete example yeah this example is a very complete example it has everything wave building wave crippling uh, mm, support crashing and then play beam plate bearing plate bending five condition we did not check the uh, flange side sway buckling because this book uh, discusses this in a separate section so hopefully you understood and uh, like now in for other cases everything is same concept everything is same concept say for this case what you will do say there is a beam here beam here whatever this beam say there a load is applied here how to de design this here yeah, same or same approach only difference is your x x will be from the this will be your x this will be your x here everything will be same you have to check your web uh, you have to check a web building web crippling then there is no support here there is no support here so you do not need to check the support crashing then you will check the pl um, plate bending plate bearing here if there is a support here and if you design a plate here then you have to check support crashing also mm. web building web crippling plate bending plate bearing and the support crashing here also and in this case your x is here to here this is this will be your x uh, so here this will be your x and for this case this is your x that is the most critical thing everything else here or here uh, is known to you uh, from AISC uh, manual uh, chapter 1 or 2 chapter 1 is all about geometric properties chapter 2 is all about material properties so hopefully you you understood how when there is a concentrated load in a beam whether in the inside a beam or at the support what to check six x actually your book did five six here way building way crippling um, plate uh, plate bearing plate uh, bending and the support reaction and you know how to do it now if you, if your wave yielding wave crippling does not satisfy the load then what to do no option you have to change your uh, you have to change your uh, section you have to change your section or you can increase this you can you can increase the plate size so that the load is applied to a larger area then that way there will be less stress 
okay we will stop uh, here uh, in the next video we will talk about something surprising that if your section is not good or uh, you can increase obviously you can change your section you can change the uh, change the plate the other option to design a bearing plate design a bearing plate here so that is even most of the cases in real life you will see a design the bearing plate here we will discuss about that in our next video uh, thank you.